Hi everyone, it is Natalie with Crochet by Natalie Lucille. And today we are going to work on the Alpine stitch. And I've started, and I'll explain what I've started here, because if you notice the bottom here, it's a single crochet, double crochet, and single crochet, and then the pattern starts. But if you look here, it's this is a lovely pattern to work with all the texture. I mean, you could see just how thick it is. Here's the back of it. And it's a great dense pattern to actually work with. So you can make beautiful blankets and scarves. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll explain what I've done. If you've seen any of the uh, my previous videos, I explain how to do a chain single crochet and a double crochet. So what I've done here, because I just want to jump right into the Alpine stitch, is when you work the Alpine stitch, you want to work in multiples of two plus one. So I chained 10 plus one, and in the second chain from the hook, I worked a single crochet, and in every single stitch across, I worked a single crochet. I chained two, and that counts as your first double crochet and then in the next stitch double crochets all the way across chain one in the second stitch work single crochets all the way across so I've come and I've just have these three rows here so what you want to do is you want to chain two and turn your work and that counts as your first double crochet of the alpine stitch so what you're going to do here is you are going to work in the posts of these double crochets here. So you want to yarn over and you're going to come to this post here. You're going to come all the way down. You're going to insert your hook to the front, to the back, and around this post. So you've passed you've gone past, <laughs> over, I guess you could say, the single crochet row. So it is yarn over, come all the way down, go through, and you're gonna work a double crochet around this. So you want to also, when you draw up your loop as the double crochet, you wanna pull it at the height of the starting double crochet. So you want to yarn over, draw through two, Yarn over, draw through two. So you're going to come to your next single crochet here. You're not going to work down in this line, but you're going to come right here. And you're going to work a double crochet. So it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, draw up, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. So in the next one, so you're going to skip this one you're going to work around this post here. So it's yarn over, you come all the way down here, you're going to work around this post. And so it's yarn over. You're going to remember draw up that loop, so you want to keep it at the height of this double crochet here. Yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. So you're going to come to your next single crochet here and you're going to work a double crochet. So coming through, you're going to work around this post right here. So you're going to go into the side, around the back, yarn over, you're going to draw it up to where it meets the height of the, the row because remember you're going over one row so you want to make sure that you have enough so you can see the pattern taking place here's your next stitch you're going to do a regular double crochet in come down not this one but this one around yarn over draw up Yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. You're going to skip 
Th well, no, you're not skipping this one. You are going to do a double crochet here. And in the very last stitch, you're also going to do a double crochet. So it's the chaining or turning chain that you want to do a double crochet in. And then when you turn your work around, because you're going to chain one, which counts as your first stitch, you're going to single crochet this entire row. So you don't work this stitch, you're coming into this one, and you're going to single crochet all across the row in each stitch. You come to your last, and of course that is the turning chain here, so you want to single crochet in the top. Now you're going to chain two, which would count as your first double crochet. Turn your work. So when you worked this last one, you um, did an alpine stitch or you came down to this post on the first one so on this row you're going to work in not in the first one but in the second stitch here just a regular double crochet because we're going to alternate the stitches so since you came down on this one now you're going to come in between and you're going to work around this post if you can see this post you worked around this post you worked around so now you're going to work around this post. So it's yarn over, come in around the post, draw up a nice tall loop, yarn over, draw through, yarn over, draw through. So if you look, this is where you did the post before. This is where you are going to do your regular double crochet. So you come to the next, because here's where you came down before. You came, so you're going to work into this one to see if you see how that looks. So uh, yarn over, insert, yarn over, draw up that nice long loop, yarn over. <laughs> and then a regular double crochet into the next stitch and working our way in between here if you can see this is the one that we're going to be working in because these came down so you're working in around this piece pull up that loop just like that Coming into this one, doing a regular double crochet. And then you're going to come down and work around this post here. Draw up that loop. Not that it wants to be loose, but you just want it at the same height because you're going um, working around or over a row so you want to make sure that it is the right height so you're coming into this turning chain here and you're going to work a regular double crochet okay let's work <laughs> my, my dog is really wanting to sit in my lap and I'm, he's just gonna have to wait so I don't know if you hear him in the background chain one turn your work skip this one and you're going to you're going to single crochet I should say all the way across can you see where you're going in each stitch here all the way across 
And then once you make it all the way across, you come to this turning chain and you do a single crochet. Let's see how the back turns out. Chain two, I'm going to turn again. And this is literally what is becoming of your pattern. So looking at this before, you're going to want to work around this first one because you can see how it alter it's going to start alternating and kind of going back like a zigzag, a zigzag and it gives it a diamond shape almost. So you're going to come down to this first one here around the post, bring up that loop Since that was in the front before, we're going to work a regular. Sorry, somebody just sent me a text. I don't know if that went through or not. You're going to come and work around this post right here. Uh, draw that up. Work your regular double crochet in the next. Come down to the next. We're going to work around this post. Draw that up. And basically this is what you're going to do throughout. Well that just curled up. Um, you're just going to work around your post and kind of zigzag. So if in the, um, well, the alarm's going off. Sorry, we have an alarm going off. So the pattern is going to just continue to repeat itself. And if you, because when you're working the, the pattern itself, if the one stitch below is around a post then you would do a regular double crochet if it's not then you work around the post so you just kind of look down and let's see yes because that was around a post so this is just a regular double crochet here so let's just say we're done so you do your final on each end you do one double crochet but let's say you're done with this the way that you would finish out the alpine is you would work a you turn work and do a single crochet double crochet and a single crochet to kind of finish out let's see turn it around this way to show you where you finish out with a single crochet double crochet single crochet edge and it just kind of finishes it out and then it gives it just a nice finished look so that is the alpine stitch which is a nice textured stitch nice and thick so thanks for watching everyone bye